Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. It is Friday today, so I know I'm getting confused because last year I always did it Monday to Sunday, but this year I'm doing it Wednesdays through to, no, Thursdays through to Wednesdays. So it was Thursday yesterday, didn't vlog. I literally just had like an at home day editing the London vlog. And uh, this morning I am off to Manchester, so I thought I would pick up the camera and start the vlog today. We are going for a brunch with Nasty Girl, followed by, um, we're going to their HQ, I think, or their office space or gifting suite or something, I'm not really sure. I think we're seeing the previews of the spring summer collection already so i think that's what it is anyway but i'll tell you more about that when we get there so this morning uh, myself and lydia we're gonna head in a little bit earlier shoot two outfits with our new bags which if you didn't see the london vlog we both made a designer purchase for me it's my first ever designer purchase did a full unboxing video on my instagram tv igtv first ever video i've done so be sure to um, head over there and watch it if you haven't already or let me know if you have and what you thought and if you want more Instagram TVs. If you are new to this channel, then please stick around and subscribe. It means so much to me and thumbs up if you like my weekly vlogs. Let's get started with this week and let's head off to Manchester. Never was the last word that I heard you say before you hung up the phone. Silence. Never thought that it would go this way with you. Wanted me gone. I don't believe in no. Just last week you called me your babe. They are out of stock online in these boots, and I've just seen them in my size. <gasps> Shall I get them from 119 down to 49? We're just in Zara having a browse. Lydia's actually returning something quickly and then we're gonna head over to Evelyn's, which is where we're having brunch with Nasty Gal. I've seen them in cream as well. Do I get them? I'm gonna try them on. So I'd need a size seven, unfortunately. The six didn't fit. So just a little outfit of the day. These are Nasty Gal. This dress is Nasty Gal. My new bag. Uh, which is the Lulu in small and my glamorous coat. What did you think of breakfast? It was actually really nice. Did you enjoy it? Mm. Did we both have avocado? Yeah. yeah. We all had the whole table. Oh yeah, the whole table did. I would have liked to try these things. Like, mm, it looked good. And then we had a ginger shot to start with, but it did have lemon juice and <clears throat> apple cider vinegar in it. So it was a bit more vinegary, less ginger. It was all right, wasn't it? Mm, it's delicious. I've had two coffees. It was strong. Let's go to Nasty Girl Offices. I'm excited. Hi, Nasty Girl. 
Is it raining? Oh, no. We've come for, you might not be able to hear me. We've come for a drink, got soda, water and lime at Neighbourhood. Ready or set? We were the last one standing at that party because it's rush hour first. And because we're driving, we didn't want to drive in rush hour. So we figured, get a drink before setting off back and hopefully there'll be no traffic and we'll be straight motorway back home. I'm gonna call it a night here. Do you want to say goodnight? Bye. 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 Right, let's do an unboxing. So if you haven't already, make sure you grab yourself a coffee. We've just nipped two booze and had breakfast there. And, um, gosh, I'm looking very brown in this light. Just if you were interested, I've started using more regularly the Samaritz face tanning drops. They're really good, I really like them, but be warned, they do stain your hands. Lydia found that out, I found that out, and you cannot scrub it off. So make sure after you've like dropped a few drops into your moisturizer, put your moisturizer on your face and put it all the way down your neck, and then wash your hands thoroughly. Anyway, moving on. Grab yourself a coffee. Today's, um, rather than like a bit of a vlog today, I am going to do, oh God, my elbow felt like it was gonna click then. I'm gonna do a bit of an unboxing with you because I have a few parcels that have arrived and um, I thought for those of you who like the blogger mail unboxing, I would open them on camera. Look at my new bag. Just sit there, looking all pretty. And um, for those of you that are not as interested in the blogger mail unboxing, maybe just skip forward to after this little section because it could be a long one. Okay, so the first box I have received is from Social Network Solutions. They are a company that connect brands with bloggers. On a regular basis, they tend to fire out hampers to bloggers to send us some new in products or products from their brands. So I'll leave links to everything below if you did want to check anything out yourself that I unbox. Oh my God, it's so heavy. Where to begin? I'm just gonna pull out as we go. Ignore the washing on the uh, radiator there behind me. So the first one is from Naughty First Aid. It's called, it's the Conditioning and Detangling Spray for frizzy and damaged hair with sweet almond and argan oil. I love using argan oil on my hair. Next up, we've got, I think, a few products from this brand. It's from a brand called PHB Ethical Beauty. A family business, 20% of profit goes to charity. That's lovely. A superfood brightening skin tonic. That's what the packaging looks like. And this is a facial oil. I love using facial oils. So again, that is what that looks like. The superfood brightening cleanser. Any products that I don't get around to trying, as you guys know, if you know on a regular basis, I tend to do giveaways here on my weekly vlogs. So I'm gonna be doing a giveaway at the end of this video, so stay tuned for that. Next up is this, which is Jersey Honey. It's a gift set. So in here we have a hand cream and a luxury hand wash, so they'll look nice. I'm gonna see what the packaging looks like and maybe put them side by side in our bathroom. Okay, and then they have also sent a luxury conditioner and natural shampoo. Coffee pit stop. I have this product, which is by Skinny Sprinkles in Candy Apple, drink before a meal to aid weight loss. I'm not typically a big fan of trying like supplementary products to help with weight loss. But if you are into that kind of thing, then uh, definitely find the link below to find out more information on the skinny sprinkles. And then moving on to the next product, which is, oh, from W7, Princess Potion, this one's called. It's a complexion booster and primer. It smells of, is that like bubble gum? I don't know. And then I've also got here Body Blends Three Piece Shimmer Kit. So we've got an exfoliating coffee shimmer scrub in there, a shimmer oil, and an illuminating balm. Also from W7, I have this, which is a full flavor lip gloss, I Heart Candy, it's called. Oh yeah, that has the same smell. The packaging is so cute. It's quite reminiscent of another brand. Let me know which brand you think I may be thinking of. It's like a pinky, iridescent gold shimmer. This is from Cohorted Beauty. There is a hand cream by Georges Aubé. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. A cleansing treatment from Pericone MD from uh, Avant. There is a Deluxe Hyaluronic Acid for 
Vivifying Face and Eye Night Cream, Sea of Illumination Highlighting Liquid, an Argentum soap in there, and another Argentum Potion Infinite. I don't know what that one is. Oh, it's a hydrating day and night cream. This is from Too Faced. It's a primed and poreless. And then there's another box here from Cohorted Beauty, which filled with products from the brand Duce. Du Duce. A mascara. We've got a fierce and fine graphic pen in black, and also in Lyra a lip pencil, a brow filler pencil in ash brown, a lipstick in first date, and then this, which is a palette, the Freematic Pro palette. That is what the palette looks like. Lots of different shades there. And then last but not least, we have this from Snow. Oh, it's a teeth whitening system. I do sometimes get questions about how I whiten my teeth. I don't. I used to, and on the odd occasion, will go back to using the Crest whitening strips, but you can't get them in the UK. I can't vouch for products like this because like I said, I would just use Crest whitening strips and I have um, family that goes to America on a regular basis, so I'm able to get them if I need them. Right, I'm going to move this away and then just go on to a couple of other bits. Firstly, what we got from the London vlog, you'll have seen we went down to London with Paul Mitchell. Their new Invisible Wear range, they did a few demos as well, but they very kindly let us take away the entire collection, which features a shampoo, conditioner, memory shape, like undone definition spray, the undone texture hairspray, and what is that one? This is one I was really excited to try. It's the Invisible Wear Pump Me Up. So it's kind of like a dry shampoo. And then I've also been gifted from Isle of Paradise. They have a range of tanning products, which I was intrigued to try because it includes like tanning water. This one is in medium, it's vegan friendly. And this one is medium face tanning drops which says face and body as well i also went to the nasty girl event yesterday a little goodie bag which features popcorn one of my favorite snacks a skin mask from garnier nasty girl sticker and pop socket thing some love heart sweets and then two items of clothing yeah two so this one is just their standard black nasty girl tea and then this one is from the valentine's day range again i'll try and leave a link to it below if it's still available um, in a medium, it's a white tea with a little kiss sign and it says moi on it. And in the bag is even personalised with Freya. Next up is this, which just has one item in it and it is Lano Lips. Never tried Lano Lips before, I know everyone raves about it. It's like the original brand for nipple cream, which as used as a lip balm is meant to be amazing. So uh, they have like a lip range as well. So they sent me this one, which is in rhubarb so when i opened this one i was just like is this my life is this my life my favorite makeup brand nars and they sent me so many goodies i'm just gonna run through them pretty quickly because otherwise it'll take forever and this is a weekly vlog not an unboxing video a lip product in american woman somebody to love and le freak a foundation this is the natural radiant longwear foundation i love their sheer glow so if it's anything to go by I'm sure I'll love that too. A lip gloss in Roseland and a lip pencil in Trash. A blush in Impassioned. Audacious lipstick in Live. Soft matte complex concealer in Vanilla. And then we've also got a eyeshadow in Cashmere. A contour blush set in uh, Paloma. Oh, Albatross, yes. This is a highlight in Albatross, which I've wanted to try for so long. So yay. A tinted smudge proof eyeshadow base in light. Velvet eyeliner in Mambo. A eyeshadow in Cabo San Lucas. We've got the Climax mascara. Still yet to try and know everyone raves about this. So excited to give that one a try. And last but not least from the NARS Skin Range, a restorative night treatment cream. And then this again is another very luxurious package from Elemis that I was so grateful to receive. Look how many products are in here. Oh my god, amazing. The best product, a candle, and this is in Calm. It smells amazing. There is also this Buff and Shower Alexa 
Alexia in Calm as well. And then a Superfood Facial Oil. I love the facial cleanser. And then the Pro Radiance Illuminating Flash Balm. The Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. And the Pro Collagen Marine Cream with SPF 30. Oh my gosh, I'm so fortunate, so lucky to get all of these products. I'm going to just admire them all now and have a play around with them and enjoy this coffee. Chill out for the rest of today so I will see you tomorrow. Hello, good morning. I'm in Manchester this morning. Uh, I just nipped in quickly to pop into Primark to get some bits for a new Primark haul. But I am just going to nip into HomeSense TK Maxx now whilst I wait for Lydia to arrive. And then we're going to go for a nice brunch at Evelyn's again with purple PR, I think. So yeah, that's what we're doing today. And let's go shopping. In HomeSense I spotted some pampas grass looking things. And I thought I'd pop in and have a look. Oh right, okay, so it's the whole plant at $24.99. All of this. See, I don't want any greenery, I just want the pampas grass. See if they've got any more. They've got this like brownie coloured one as well, but again, it's just the whole plant that you have to buy. Here she is. <laughs> oh, did you? That's what I've been moving the car park around. I'm like making the space. I, I figured it's always easier for me to get in those smaller spaces. Yeah. So I thought I'll give Breathe that one in. to you. Thanks. Did you see this one? Have you only just... Yeah, no, I, I was parking up as you were coming in. Oh, you saw that? Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. We're back. We're reunited. Again. Let's go shoot some outfits. Let's and then go, I'm done. excited for brunch. Me yeah. too. So I'm going to hang the other day. Oh, Everyone was talking me about I know. We'll see. Ooh. I need to sneeze. Oh. The sun, it makes me sneeze. Um, It's gone. I think. I think <laughs> we're on the final outfit. Very productive final morning, stretch. haven't we? Yeah. And um, I'm so, honestly so hungry. I'm so excited for food. I'm going to take away the so I still don't think I've got that food inside. Which food? Takeaway last night. Oh, did you have yeah. a takeaway? Yeah. Last, this weekend was one of the first weekends we didn't actually have a takeaway this Sunday. Oh, really? So I kind of feel like I'm missing out. Hence, cheat day today. I'm actually, yeah, <laughs> I'm actually just going to have pancakes. Um, but yeah, I'm just craving them. Thinking five weeks till Dubai, bikini body. <sighs> Am I really gonna change that drastically in five weeks? Probably not. <laughs> I do a little bit. Oh, we're on green. Ever happened to us? Straight on. Right, so final outfit to shoot. We're gonna head over to where Evelyn's is, which is like northern quarter area. Find a spot there, beautiful sunshine, but freezing cold. So yeah, I'm gonna have a nice coffee to warm up when I get in. Just spotted what looks to be an interesting homeware shop, Oklahoma. It's like, got loads of unique, oh, I like that cactus in the corner. Loads of unique neon yeah, signs and, in there. yeah. Another day. Another day, well, we've gone very dark. So we're just in Northern Quarter now. Just around the corner, isn't it? Thank you. Yeah, I think so. We had, um, dodgy experience around this part didn't we it's weird because northern quarter it's like so well known and up and coming and quirky and cool but, but actually it's a bit quite daunting. dirty isn't yeah. it and like yeah I, some graffiti can look cool but some is just like gross not really a graffiti kind of girl. no um, but like do you know what i mean yeah northern quarter being cool and quirky but yeah, actually I think it's a shame because there are so many like nice cafes yeah we were like, like really do you cool remember we places. were like, oh let's shoot there. Yeah. And we got here and we were like, can't Actually, find anywhere. There are a few more on the main streets. Yeah. Um, we'll see what Evelyn's is like, because they sometimes look quite pretty from the front. Yeah. There's a few florists and stuff, but yes. Let's shoot this out. So. Oh god, it's cold. Oh. I grabbed myself a Starbucks for the road home because it's freezing. It's so cold. We've got a little just bag of you up though, having... Oh, I know, just even holding something hot. Yeah, um, So, kind of a fleeting visit today. We've got in, yeah. we've got our work done. We did get some it's pancakes afterwards. It's Monday, to be fair. Yeah, 
Monday. What good Monday. This has been a great I'm Monday. I'm so happy. Can't wait to try my new product. I think as well, in a way it helps that Hashtag Tom... Hashtag <laughs> Tom was up this morning early, mm. um, off to Leeds. And I, so I've been awake since like quarter past six. Ooh, that is but that's know. why I said to you, I'm just going to come past. in and go to Primark. Yeah, I don't blame you. I was just sat in traffic all morning, basically. Oh, joys. But whilst we've been here, we've been really productive. And then... Yeah, maybe we should do this every month. Yeah. And then Wednesday, Wednesday. we're in. And Thursday, we're in. Yeah. So you'll see Wednesdays in this vlog. You'll see me in this vlog a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but then now I end on Wednesday, start oh, right. on Thursday. So. Okay. Yeah, anyway, we'll probably see you. I'll see you when I get back home. And I'll see you on Wednesday. See you on Wednesday. <laughs> home sweet home. I just wanted to show you these quickly uh, before I sign off today because um, the PR company that we met for coffee with were very generous in gifting us some goodies from the brands that they represent. So firstly, there was a makeup artist there from Anastasia Beverly Hills. So they ran through a couple of products of which this one I've tried before. I used it all up because I was such a big fan and it's the Dip Brow Pomade. They didn't have taupe, which is the shade I've used before. So the closest to that is soft brown. Uh, oh, that's my phone. One second. Okay, so that was an exciting phone call. It's confirmation that the hotel is booked for Dubai. We're going in five weeks time. I can't believe it, I'm so excited. Um, if you don't already know, me and Tom are going to Dubai. It was kind of like our Christmas present to each other this year and it falls um, on his, more or less on his birthday. We get back and the day back, the day after we're back is his birthday. So a nice little treat. Hotels booked, flights have been booked for ages. So that's exciting. Moving back onto the goodies, Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade, big fan of this soft brown it is in color and 7b is the brush that the makeup artist that was with us today showed us how to apply it and they're sending us one of those as well which is amazing so the soft glam palette which i'm gonna have to just quickly show you what this is like because it's me and a palette if ever i had a palette because it's a lot of neutrals a lot of warm tones and ones that i will gladly be using a few pinky kind of shades or purpley shades which are actually complementary to blue eyes so this is literally my shades in a palette i maybe the one i'll probably least often use is the black just because i very rarely go with an intense eye i used to wear black all the time for nights out but i just, I just don't go out anymore and then lastly for anastasia beverly hills we got gifted their clear brow gel which tip that the artist shared with us, which is one that I've actually heard of before, not only as a clear black, as a clear brow gel, but also if when you wear hair up, so say if you're doing like a high pony style, she has issues with like baby hairs on her neck. For me, it's more like here I have really blonde hairs and really fine. So by using a brow gel, a clear one to just kind of like once you've got the hair up in a tight pony to just use that on the little baby hairs holds them in place amazingly so that is the clear brow gel okay moving on to the rest of the products that we got gifted uh, i'll start with this one because it's a brand that i've wanted to try for ages james reed and sheldon she's good friends with james reed and she quite often um advertises his tan so i really wanted to try this for a while now this is the sleep mask tan face i also have here from Oh gosh, how did we pronounce his name? B Boshia? Boshia? I don't know. This is a big product in the States and it's just come to the UK. It's stocked in boots. This one is their detoxifying black cleanser, part of the charcoal range. We also have two products from the brand Revive. Revive? I don't know how you pronounce it, but if you're saying it with the little accent, aigu for the E, French speakers out there. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. It's been a while since I've spoken French. Okay, so we've got a foaming cleanser from them, which is this one. And then this is their well-known products. These are more high-end. I'm just going to put that out there now. I will leave links to everything below, but these are pricier. And then we also got this from Peter Thomas Roth. This is the Hungarian Thermal Water. It's a new product from his. So it has heat technology in it that allows you to, like your face, you can feel it heating, but then when you remove it, it feels really cold and refreshing. So one that I think I'm really going to like. Another face mask here from 111 Skin. This is popular amongst celebs. Apparently Rosie Huntington-Whiteley uses this and is a big fan. Okay, moving on to the last couple of products they sent. 
sent gave gave us <laughs> this one being from fresh it's the rose face mask one of their best sellers its texture is quite for lack of a better word lumpier kind of like it's got actual roses in it so yeah it, it's not like a smooth consistency it's gross sounding i know but it is a best seller of theirs so i've been excited to um receive this and look forward to giving that one a try and then last but not least from fresh is a lip treatment this is the orchid sugar orchid i'm not really sure this one i'm not sure how i'll get on with this it's got spf 15 in it i think it's coming out in march i believe and it is a new product that is better suited to summer it's apparently quite pink which you guys know i don't really wear pink on my lips yeah that's more like ready I guess they did say it's quite sheer so if you're wanting the color payoff you have to like build it up which because I don't maybe I'll get on with it or maybe it will go in my giveaway pile for you guys and that is everything we've got today at lunch had a fab day like I said very productive I went to Primark and did some damage which I'm going to show in a whole February Primark haul I've got lots of homeware bits which I'm very excited for because our local Primark has pretty rubbish homeware to be honest i'm gonna sign off here today because nothing really doing anything else interesting today but i will see you again on wednesday when i'm going to manchester like i said earlier we're going to the ivy it's been a while the last time we went was on my birthday when there was the fire if you watch my birthday vlog you'll have seen that glad to say it's back open and running i don't know if the roof terrace is back open yet or not but we're going there on wednesday with christian Bouton beauty makeup so excited for that so i'll take you along with me and i'll see you on wednesday good morning <gasps> bins brown ones yeah we don't really have any brown it's fine blue bins and gray bins or i say black but tom says they're gray definitely gray. <laughs> they're black <laughs> we are off to Manchester. I'm going to meet Lydia today. We're going for lunch at the Ivy with Christian Le Bouton Beauté, uh, which is very exciting. We love the Ivy. She gave us the choice of the Ivy or Sunset, and we chose the Ivy. Oh, look at the park. It's so pretty. What a beautiful day. And it's not too bad because the snow seems all right on the roads. So. Yes, Tom is going in for meeting at Google pretty much between half twelve and half five or five. And then we will get some food afterwards. So that's the plan for today. You know it still hurts a little bit, but not that much. Cause if you want somebody else, who am I to judge? I've been thinking about you all the time, but that's alright. I'm starting to get used to it, think I'll survive I met you in the summer, when you left it was cold Said we loved one another, guess that we were wrong I met you in the summer, our love was out of control I've been going crazy without you, I'm so alone I met you in the all done with the event which was well it wasn't an event lunch with christian Bouton, which was lovely got a little goodie so i'll show you that when i get home but they're gonna work with us and send us some bits in the very near future just moved car parks for now until tom's out of his meeting and then he's gonna come meet me we're gonna grab some food then head home I'm just in zara change rooms and I spotted a couple of things in the sale and there's this one new season piece which I wanted to try this let me show you in the mirror I love this sweatshirt I just love the font and what it says and just everything about it very simple very me just with a pair of jeans or my leather trousers from Zara but then I also spotted this knit at only $5.99 and it's like a crossover knit cardigan so I thought again with like leather leggings, they nice, maybe this this Uniqlo top underneath could look quite nice, $5.99 bargain. And then I'm not sure how it'll fit or what it'll look like, but this skirt, I quite like the print of this and the color. Again, $5.99, I could only see it in a large, so 
that's probably going to be too big for me but I'll try it anyway and then these check trousers I thought were quite nice again 5 dollars in a small and then last but not least this like leather jacket from $49.99 down to $15.99 so this is the jacket I think for me personally I'm not 100% sold on the colour so for that reason I won't take it but it is a nice jacket and quite nice with this outfit too big okay this is potentially the coziest cardigan ever but I don't think it's that flattering where the knot lies it kind of like just it's a bit meh you know I probably wouldn't wear it with this like I might wear it with this but like just some tight pants um because you can't really wear it open I mean it's, it's a bargain at 5 99 but I'm not gonna get it because I don't need it and then these pants are nice but they're just a little bit short for me and I'm five foot six for reference but again, a bargain at $5.99 if you are a little bit shorter. Last but not least, try on my favourite, which of course is the non-sale item, which is probably the one that I'm going to be taking. <laughs> yep, it's coming home with me. Um, I was just checking you weren't topless. <laughs> I need to end this week's weekly vlog. Do you end on Wednesday? No, yeah, I've changed it now. So it's Wednesday. I film Thursday through to Wednesday so I can upload Sunday. So it's like more current rather than a week previously. So like I said, they are sending us some products in the post, which I'll open in a following weekly vlog. But... Christian Louboutin, who treated us to lunch, have gifted us a little goodie for Valentine's Day. I think it's for Valentine's Day anyway. Oh my god, look. What is it? Pastries. Biscuits. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, we'll have them. We'll be eating these tonight. Delicious. What? Whoa! Thank you. I need to do a giveaway, Tom. Will you pick a prize? Okay, go in that unit and pick something out. Which unit? That unit in the hall. Oh. Yeah, that wicker unit. Right, which shelf? Whichever. <laughs> this is fun. I'll leave all the details on how you ha need to enter, but basically you just need to be subscribed, hit the notification bell, let me know in the comments down below along with a form of contact so I can reach out to the winner, whether it be email, Twitter handle or Instagram handle. And Tom is picking your prize. Meanwhile, I'll just have another bite of my cookie. Mmm, they're good as well. How about the little bit? Wow! This is a good one. This is a high value product, guys. So, the little beauty parcel by Feel Unique. This is the Lux Edit. So inside is, you've got a few different products from different brands, including one of my favourite, Cover FX Shimmer Veil. Huh? Yeah, smart. Nice. And also by Terry, um, eyeliner. I think it's an eyeliner. Oh, eyeshadow. Cream eyeshadow. The lucky winner will be chosen uh, in a week's time, I think I'm going to do. So allow you plenty of time to enter, but all the details will be left below. Subscribe. Comment down below, hit that notification bell, and you might be able to win yourself this. So thank you so much for watching this week's weekly vlog. Hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did, and stay tuned for next week. Bye, guys. And say bye. Just shout it. Hi. <laughs> Try again. <laughs> bye. Bye.